Hi there, my name is Mark Cruz and this is part three of our full frame mirrorless video series. And in this video, I wanna discuss the lenses and accessories introduced at the launch along with the new Z mount. Now, since the introduction in 1959 of Nikon's first interchangeable lens SLR camera, the Nikon F, the F mount and F mount Nikkor lenses have been in continuous use for over 59 years and its history is still being made today. And it's a testament to the strength of the mount design that it's endured for such a long time. And the designers of the new Z series mirrorless cameras knew how important that legacy was. And therefore, they were very thorough in coming up with a new mount that would help bridge the legacy Nikkor glass while helping to bring Nikon into the future with new lens designs and optical formulas that were not possible before. Just as the F-mount and F-mount Nikkor lenses have kept pace with the latest imaging technologies, the new Z-mount system will continuously respond to the need for richer image making for years to come. So where did the engineers start? Well, we know that part of the draw of mirrorless systems is not only the cutting edge technology and autofocus, but they're ideally gonna be smaller and lighter as well. And one of the ways to decrease the size of the mirrorless system is to have a short flange distance. And that's the distance from the rear of the lens to the sensor. And after a lot of testing, it was determined that the resulting flange distance of the new Z mount could be decreased to a minuscule 16 millimeters. And that's 65% decrease from the 47 millimeter flange distance of the F mount. And now that the flange distance is known, the next decision was to determine the diameter of the mount. And these two numbers have to complement each other because if the diameter is too small, then you'll run into problems like having a difficult time designing wide angle lenses. But if the mount is too large, then you'll lose the advantage of having a smaller system. And so the engineers determined that for the Z mount to gain the most advantage, its diameter had to be 55 millimeters. Now that's a 17% increase from the 47 millimeters of the F mount. This combination of wider mount and shorter flange distance offers enormous flexibility in optical design, giving the Z-mount system the potential to exceed a user's demands, not just now, but also well into the future. In creating the new mirrorless cameras, designing a new lens mount that would help create a new legacy for Nikon and its users is what the Z-mount is all about. Okay, so the engineer spent a lot of time designing this new system. How does it actually benefit you, the user, in real life shooting? Well, there are a few main ways. And the first is optical performance. The new optical designs that are possible allow for amazing image quality from the center to the corners and even while shooting completely wide open. The next benefit is size. You're able to get higher image quality in a smaller package. Another benefit is the design possibilities. The mount is sufficiently large with enough light now contacting the sensor, both in the central area, but also at the peripherals as well, that we can now create lenses that you've never seen before. Lenses that incorporate customizable focus rings, account for focus breathing, wobbling, and much more. Now let's take a look at what was announced with the launch of the Z-Series mirrorless system. A Nikkor Z 35mm f1.8 S series lens. A Nikkor Z 50mm f1.8 S series lens. A Nikkor Z 24-70 f4 S series zoom lens. And an FT Z mount lens adapter. All of the lenses are dust and weather resistant and incorporate optical designs that will minimize color fringing and aberrations all while creating great bokeh and sharpness even when shot completely wide open. The Nikkor Z 50mm f1.8s has an advanced optical design that delivers nearly zero aberrations with high rendering capability without having to stop the aperture down. And this lens can do it all iconic portraits, street scenes, close-ups of food, interviews, how-to videos, and more. Thanks to the f1.8 aperture, it's also brilliant in low light. As with the 50mm f1.8s, the Nikkor Z 
35 millimeter f 1.8 s captures point light sources like street lights with uncanny sharpness and minimal spherical aberration. Now few lenses are as versatile as a fast 35 millimeter prime, which is ideal for landscapes, street photography, weddings, environmental portraits, and so much more. The Nikkor Z 24-70 f4 S series zoom lens covers a sweet spot of the focal length range capable of capturing wide angle landscapes one moment, then portraits in the next. And this lens is as sharp as you'd hope for in terms of image quality, but with its buttonless retractable design, it looks sharp as well. All three of the new lenses use a Nikon developed stepping motor that delivers fast and accurate focus while being near silent. And something else that all three lenses share is the fact that the manual focus ring is customizable thanks to it being a fly-by-wire electronic design. By going into the custom setting menu, you can actually change the lens control ring functionality from changing the focus manually, to changing your aperture, to changing exposure compensation, or having it not be activated at all. Another item announced with the new Z system is great news for any current Nikon DSLR shooter. It's the FTZ mount adapter providing a way to adapt your favorite Nikkor lenses with the new mirrorless system. And there are over 360 types of Nikkor lenses that can be mounted on the new system with over 90 of those having full autofocus and exposure compatibility. Now, when attaching an F mount, a G type or E type AF lens, the mount adapter provides AF performance equivalent to that of the F mount via high speed switching between the F mount and Z mount communication systems. That means you aren't losing any autofocus performance when using your F mount Nikkor lenses. What's more, your F mount Nikkor lenses don't lose any of their great image quality either. That's right, no loss of image quality. Now, thanks to the F mount adapter, one of the best reasons to be a part of the new Z series mirrorless system is already in your bag. People rave about the autofocus speed and image quality of the new FL version of the 70-200. Well, none of that changes when you mount it on the new Z7 or Z6. Do you already own the amazing Nikkor 105 f1.4? Well, not only will it work exactly the same as it does on your D750 or D810, but now you also get in-body three-axis VR image stabilization, silent shooting, focus peaking, and more. I hope that after this video, you see the huge benefits that you get from changing to the new Z mount, from the newer optical designs that allow for better image quality to the faster F0.95 maximum aperture lenses that are now possible, to the new FTZ mount adapter that gives so many benefits to users with Nikkor glass already in their bag. To hear more about the still or video features of the cameras, check out part one and two of the video series or go to our website to find out even more information on Nikon's new full frame mirrorless system.